Greetings from Tokyo. I hope everything is well with you. I'm just arranging my shelves because I got new shelf space. And if you can tilt up and see, excuse me, you can see that there are, whoops, there are some titles that go all the way up there. And they go down to the bottom. This is not a complete view of all of the titles that I have. There's actually another shelf behind the camera right there. There's another shelf this way, which houses the Arrow video titles and the 88 films titles, as well as some Scream Factory and other Japanese film uh, releases. So once everything is organized, I hope to be able to present more videos in a more organized fashion, um, starting hopefully with the entire Criterion Collection DVD and Blu-ray in one video. So that should be, uh, at the moment I have spy numbers 1 through 925, I think. I don't know. It's a lot of movies, but hopefully I'll like to put it all together. And I'll try to figure out what uh, what the best way to do that is. And oh, incidentally, I also try to put together a Eureka Masters of Cinema Blu-ray. You can look there. That's the entire Eureka Masters of Cinema Blu-ray selection from spine number one to spine number one nine zero, including the separate Shohei Imamura box set. So hopefully, I'll be able to present that as well, more specifically title by title. In the meantime, let me just please share with you a few interesting tidbits, pieces of ephemera, nooks and crannies, as it were, of the Criterion Collection collecting. So first is this, which is the CD-ROM. Criterion goes to the movies. A comprehensive view of the Criterion Collection, including critical essays discussing certain films' importance, and plot synopses, etc., for a number of films in the Criterion Collection, Laserdisc selection. Uh, so this includes films like Citizen Kane, 2001, Seven Samurai, King Kong, Lawrence of Arabia, etc., etc. So the Laserdiscs. As you know, I'm a big fan of the Criterion Collection Laserdiscs. So I have at last assembled all of the titles that I understand to be in existence. So I'll try to update my collection video in uh, the next few weeks. Next is uh, Voyager CD-ROM. This is a CD-ROM of A Hard Day's Night for Macintosh. And incidentally, here is the same title, but this is for Windows. Windows and Macintosh. Unfortunately, I don't have the equipment to be able to view these CD-ROMs. Well, I say unfortunately, but maybe it is fortunate that I don't have such equipment because if I did have such equipment, then I might feel compelled to want to collect the rest of the Voyager CD-ROMs, which is, uh, there's quite a number of them out there, actually. There you go, here's another one. For All Mankind. This is for Windows and Macintosh. And the last one, very quickly, this is Spinal Tap. Again, for Windows and Macintosh. Lastly, um, is the Criterion Collection Three Reasons trailers are very interesting. You can find these trailers online. I think that you can see most of them through the Criterion Collection YouTube channel, and I'm sure there are other ways to, to view them. I happen to have these, which are the DVDs that include, I think it's 33 of those three reasons trailers, and hence the title 99 Reasons, this one. And here's another uh, kind of volume, I suppose, of 99 Reasons. I happen to have two of these. This, they're the same here, but this is different. And these were distributed through the Criterion Collection shop, if I remember correctly. 
and yes I don't think they are available for sale anymore that's for sure I'm sure you can find them floating around on eBay for not so expensive prices so if you're interested in the nitty-gritty and detailed collecting of the Criterion collection these discs might be an interesting place to start and as far as I can remember they aren't too expensive to purchase so I'd keep a lookout for these you know take a uh, maybe do a Google search or eBay search for Criterion Collection 99 reasons and you might come up with something interesting anyway and these are DVDs right well thank you very much for your time today and as I say I hope to see you soon with some more videos detailing each of the titles in the Criterion Collection DVD and Blu-ray uh, uh, collection, the Criterion Collection Laserdiscs, the Voyager Laserdiscs, and Eureka Masters of Cinema, as well as some other titles that I have from 88 Films and Arrow and what else? Scream Factory and Shameless from the United Kingdom, as well as some others. So my collection is not as grand or as magnificent as some of the other great collections that are available to view on YouTube from other great YouTubers. But I'm not, uh, how should I say? Um, yeah, hopefully it might be something that is interesting to you if you're interested in, for example, Criterion Collection collecting or Arrow or 88 Films or any of the Voyagers or the Laserdiscs. So hopefully I will prepare those uh, very soon. Anyway, thank you for your time and your patience and please have a very nice rest of your day. Thank you very much.